to make a man 88 um, trust you're all well and doing fine and having a good week so far um, today I'm going to show you my July favorites and the first thing that I wanted to show you was something that was highly requested um, and that I've been doing quite a fair bit of Take it out. And it just makes these really soft waves. And what I do is I just sort of finger comb it. You can use hairspray to sort of make it um, stay, but I don't mind. I like my hair to sort of, with curls, just sort of drop a little bit. And you can then maybe tease your hair on the forehead just to make it with a bit more volume. And ta da! Easy! <laughs> I've been doing this for years, and um, yeah, it's, I find it the most effective way to get heatless waves. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. easy. And it's the cutest. It's a little owl. And I like to wear it when I go out for my. I like to wear it when I go out for my sort of morning walks. Yep, so it keeps me nice and toasty. Because when I go out for walks, I go out quite early in the morning. Really cute room slippers. Um, it's got a little tail as well. They're so cute. And that's the brand, Peter Alexander. I'm not sure whether they're little, little mousies or. Little rabbits, I think they look more like little mousies. So I've really been enjoying these home slippers. They're so cute and really comfy because see the lining mm, inside? is this vanilla lavender by La Vanilla Laboratories. And it's a deodorant. And it's called the Healthy Deodorant. And it's 100 percent healthy, all natural ingredients, no harsh chemicals. So no chemicals, fetalites. It smells fantastic, and so this is like a stick cream uh, deodorant that I use. I just purchased that one in the past month, and I've been really enjoying this one. Um, so a few, quite a few makeup items that I've been enjoying. Um, the first one is the Too Faced Pretty Rebel Palette. I think you guys have seen me um, use this and I'm just obsessed with it. It comes in a very different packaging to the other Too Faced palettes. These are all so richly pigmented and I'll just do a swatch of this colour here, Girly. This one's a really interesting one because it looks green but it has undertones of red. Just do that. And we keep rubbing it. Really highly pigmented. You get that that effect. Yeah, from this one. Isn't that amazing? It's like magic. So get a sort of uh, almost very cool tone um bronzy color with that iridescent green through it. So I love that. And all of the rest of the colors are really nice as well. I also really like this black one here, Miss Sparkles. Do a little swatch of that one because it's got glitter in it. And the next uh, palette that I've really been enjoying this past month has been by Kat Von D. Comes in a box like that. And I just think the packaging is genius, which is why I've kept it in the box. And it's really. I think it's really eco-friendly. It's like doesn't do, doesn't have excessive packaging. You go opens up like a little envelope, and then you get this nice palette like that, and it's tin. Show you. 
and that's the eye pencil there just a little eye pencil <clears throat> it's pretty good so the colors that I've really been enjoying from this palette is this orange one this sort of reddish more more reddish plummy color and these two violet colors and the highlight colors are really nice as well so that so just to swatch off the bronzy orange color there to the plummy color there and the purpley color so they're very pretty eyeshadows. Look at that! How cool is that? And the genius thing is, you oh, I always get this wrong. You slide it, and that's how you get your mascara and your primer. So it's one of these um, little mascara kits that come with those microfibers. So that's what. The uh, primer looks like it's that white stuff, and then on the other side you get a nice mascara. So I've been enjoying this one from the balm, which I've been using quite a fair bit because I've been breaking out a little bit. And this one comes with tea tree oil. Do a close up. Let's see. And it's just one of those creamy concealers with the applicator like that. And I just think it's pretty good. I like the fact that it has tea tree oil in it. And it's very much like my other favorite uh, concealer from the body shop which also has tea tree oil in it. This past month I've been really enjoying this one. And then my favorite brow product has been something that I've rediscovered bought it in Japan maybe two three years ago and it's by the brand called Excel and I'll see if I can find it online and put a link below but if I can't find it I'm really sorry um, what's really cool is this one comes with a pencil a powder and a spoolie so there's a spoolie there here's the pencil here just your normal eyebrow pencil and it also comes with a powder. So it's a 3-in-1, really convenient and very handy to travel with. I've been obsessed with jumbo lipsticks. Um, I just think they're so easy to apply. Um, it's really hard to make a mistake with them and you know you can just pop it in your bag. So the two that I've been enjoying is one by CoverGirl the Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm and this one's in the color Watermelon show you. and then I think I'll do um, another video showing like sort of um, a detailed review of my favorite Jumbo lip pencils trying on a daily basis has been the Tarte Energy Lip Surgeon Skin Intuitive Lip Tint and this one's supposed to um, it goes on clear but then it sort of reacts with your body's heat and pH levels and it starts to change so you can't really see it there but when you put it on your lips it starts to change into a pinky color which always suits and I like these ones because they smell minty and they don't taste too bad um, really can't really taste much of it actually uh, and then the CoverGirl one there's not much of a scent <laughs> there is a little bit of a scent, but it's not <coughs> it's not icky. I've really yeah. been enjoying this uh, palette by It Cosmetic. This is such a good kit because it gives you a nice alternative to using bronzer or you know like a separate highlighter, and it's got all the colors that you need. So and then it gives you sort of like you know a diagram at the back to show you how to use them. So very handy. So you get two highlighters and one's a matte white and the other one's a more pearl, uh, almost pinky color highlighter. And you get four contour colors and the ones that I've been using most is this one, which you can tell because um, the embossing of it 
has sort of rubbed away and then I also use a bit of this one as well and I haven't really touched these two dark colors but I can imagine that you could actually use this color as an eyebrow powder so yeah I think I will get a lot of use yeah. out of this <laughs> okay just a random favorite for this month I have been obsessed with this Funko little what do you call them collectibles and this is so cute this is Mary Poppins isn't she a darling she's even got the little umbrella there with the uh, parrot head there so cute. Behind I've got all of my little um, Disney princesses. I think the one is such a darling. And I love Snow White, so that's Snow White there. And I just really enjoy looking at them. They always bring a smile to my face. And this one's really cute. This is Jasmine. The Sally Hansen fuzzy coats. So I'm wearing the blue one here. I really like this multicolored one. I want it in some videos, I think. And I have yet to open this one. Is this the black and white one? Yeah. But these aren't really glitters. Um, it's actually just little like fuzzy coats, if you can see. Just do a close up. Yeah. So they're not really glitters, they're just little flakes of color and they're quite hard to get off so what I recommend is if you're gonna buy those you could get um, something like a nail polish remover like a sponge inside and you stick your finger in there and keep um, sort of rubbing it away and that's the most effective way I find of removing glitter and the little flakes from the fuzzy coats and I think uh, most drugstores do carry a version nail of polishes. this which, and this one is the one by Britpop and I'm wearing it on my fingers sorry they're getting a bit chipped because I've had this on for more than a week and I think the polish is fantastic it does like it says have a gel like finish so I might pick up more of these but I really wanted a blue, so I got that one. I've really been enjoying the Aber Eden brand by Michelle Fan, which you can buy from online from Glam Boutique. They've been having a sale. I think most things are now 50% off, so I snatched up a few. And the one that I really like is this um, nail ring. Very cute. And you can see my nails are chipped here, and so easy, just cover it. Ta -da! Now I'm not flipping anybody off, I'm just demonstrating what it looks like. I can put it on another finger. Look, cute. And I've really been enjoying wearing this ring that I got from Melbourne. It's a sort of matte gold with a little ladybird on it and this um, love knot ring. Um, I don't have any new teas that I've been enjoying but I've really been enjoying my bowl and I have so many of these around the house um, I've got one for my husband, I've got one upstairs by my bedstand and I've got one here in the office and I just think they're really good um, and you can use them like up to I don't know, 600 times, you'll have to check it out. I'll put a link below in the information bar. And I just think they're so handy and cute because you can actually change the color of the filter. I've not done this before, but I thought I might. I felt so strongly about it, I wanted to share it with you. Because um, like I said, I'm really into these jumbo lip pencils. And then I saw a review of these ones by Bourgeois. They are the color burst ones. Show you. So I got one color in red sunrise, which is pink, and fuchsia, fuchsia, libre, fuchsia. I can never pronounce that one. It has SPF 15, comfort, and hydration. 
uh, bare lip sensation, it's waterproof color. The colors are very pretty. Show you. So that's the Fuchsia one, and that's the uh, what's it color called? Red Sunrise one. And in the shops here in Australia, um, they've had yeah, they've only released three colors. The other one was a coral. They're very nicely pigmented. They feel nice, but they taste horrible. I gagged when I tried it on. It was awful. It's that uh, that typical lipstick chemically that chemical taste. Uh, it was gross. Um, if you don't mind that taste, I would recommend this because the color payoff is really nice and it's very moisturizing on the lips. But if you don't like the taste of lipstick, this was disgusting. I had to immediately remove it and I don't know what I'm going to do with this now, I might give it to my mom, but um, yep, um, felt really strongly enough about that to include it in my so video. That's it for my July favorites, thanks so much for watching, please do a thumbs up if you like this video, it means a lot to me and it also helps my channel grow, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much, I love you, you know I treasure each and every one of you. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Lots of love! Bye!